I'm trying to accomplish two things here. This is a troubleshooting video, um, but I also want to be sure that it's a disclaimer. Our channel is very small, but I don't want to accidentally mislead anybody down the same mistake I made. Um, Teddy is pawing at my arms. I apologize, guys. Guys, the camera might be a little wobbly. This is Frankenstein milk machine. Um, we were really concerned that we couldn't keep rain out because our current milking parlor is a kennel. So again, I'm going to include kind of a disclaimer. Don't do this. Um, when I called Simple Pulse around where I am, it's very hard to get um, help. We're in the middle of nowhere and I've gotten accustomed to that. So we found a video on Johnson Family Homestead where they built their machine and I really should have paid more attention because he works in HVAC. So this probably works fine for them, but it does not work for us, unfortunately. And we spent $900 or, or more, um, and we're going to lose most of that money. So as we do have a couple of subscribers, I want to be sure that I don't accidentally mislead somebody, Teddy really wants attention, um, to my own mistakes. Um, that elbow on the far, Teddy is leaning on me on the far left goes to the tube, a uh, silicone tube, which you'll see in the second part of the video. That goes straight down to the vacuum pump. This is the regulator, the pulsator, and the meter. And then this tube goes to the jar. Um, and of course, the from the um, milk lines, this goes to the pulsator itself. We don't have electricity in our barn, so unfortunately it also had to go on an extension cord, which I also think was yet another error. My girls are understandably a little bit frustrated with me because I'm running way late on milking as I tried to work out the problems. This is what goes to that elbow seen in the first part of the video, and then this is the vacuum pump and I seriously suspect that there's nowhere near enough um, ventilation in here. Um, so it died. It died in like a half hour. Um, so this video is nothing like our typical videos. Our YouTube channel is for sharing our goats and sharing our homestead. So I just want to be sure absolutely sure that I include the disclaimer because I don't want, you know, any of our regular viewers to see this and think that this is in some way, shape or form functional. Um, but thank God Simple Pulse is an absolutely incredible company because I called them um, uh, so stressed out because I, I wasn't sure how to get it working and explained why I made such a foolish mistake um, you know, related to my concerns about weatherproofing it. And they thankfully are trying to help in spite of my stupidity. Um, but almost for sure we're, I mean, I'm 99.9% .9 sure we're simply ordering a full machine from them. <laughs> when I finally, I wish I'd called first, you guys. Um, because the concern was that it was going to get wet. We get, you know, days on end of rain and I have to be able to milk in that. And I thought, I don't know how to do that. So I liked the Johnson family homesteads idea because it would all be contained and therefore, you know, weather safe in theory. And when I talked to Rebecca at Simple Pulse, she said they just use a grill cover. It's such a simple, beautiful solution. Uh, so learn from my mistake <laughs> and next time around um, if you're looking for a milk machine just call Simple Pulse just just call them to start with don't do what I did do not do what I did but if it is something that you know really will be a cornerstone of your production too um, just call the company <laughs> just go that way <laughs>